Chief Probate Pro Tem Judge Kathleen Ryan is out of her courtroom. Chief Probate Judge Linda Hallmark removed Judge Ryan from her docket last week, announcing that a complaint about internal allegations of unprofessional conduct was sent to the Judicial Tenure Commission. Judge Ryan was arrested in 2021 for domestic violence, but those charges were later dismissed. And now she's back in the headlines. So if you're black from any other country, you're doing way better. If you're an American black person, then you're a lazy piece of The seven investigators have obtained the recordings that county officials say prompted Judge Ryan's removal. He's a I have no use for him. She's made it. A living hell in the past six years. I mean, it's it's been terrible. It's cost me relationships. I think it's affected my health. Um, can't sleep. Attorney. Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwa miyasha Allah. Kwa huloyim la. Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweshai. Bahashem Rekha Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to state the water to all the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. My name is Yachanan Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And as you can see, <laughs> hey, Esau is being found out, man. The skirt of Esau is being lifted. He's being discovered. And the Lord is just showing who this man really is. And that goes for the man and woman. Now, any other time in history, this would have been nothing. But see that phone recording, this goddamn social media, you know, these these cameras are kicking their ass, man, because now people are starting to see and catching a lot of what they call Karens. They're catching them, you know what I'm saying, saying and they don't mind saying the shit they be saying until, you know, um their job, you know, uh gets, you know, uh jeopardized, so to speak. That's the only time they really care. That's the only time they're gonna shed up, shed some tears. You know, um, get the sniffling, act as if, you know what I'm saying? I didn't mean it. You know, I didn't really mean that. I, I didn't really mean to say that. I was emotional at the time. I had a lot of stress. Bunch of bullshit, bro. Here you go. You understand. You judging people. And and, 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 and in the back of your mind, you nigga this, nigga that. <laughs> anyway, though, um, let's grab a quick scripture because I got a couple of articles that, I, that that just shows that same mentality from these people. First off, let's go to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And the day that that's being spoken of here that will not come is the day of the Lord. His name is Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. But his name is not Jesus. It's Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. There's no letter J in Hebrew. There's no letter E in Hebrew. There's no letter O, no letter U, no letter V. The Lord's name is not Jesus. The Father's name is not Jehovah. His name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. Again, the true name of the Father is Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, the Most High, Yahweh. Yah meaning he, Hawa meaning existing one or, or he is. The true name of his son again, Yahweh Shai. Yah meaning he, Yahweh Shai meaning savior, deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. No one was calling on no Jesus when, when the Lord walked the earth. There was no English then. The letter J was just invented in 1524, 500 years ago. So if the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, of course his name couldn't possibly be Jesus. But you got some people that say it doesn't matter. But, but what you're going to see is it's going to matter. It does matter. And it's going to matter. But anyway, and to come, um, let's get it back again. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. So the falling away first is the falling away of the Israelites. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We fell away way back, way back. <laughs> you know, after 70 AD, um, when the Romans came, same, same people, so-called white people came in and, you know, destroyed our temple and done all those different things see people don't believe that we're the, we're actually those people they just think we're some negroes in america calling ourselves black a goddamn color out of a crayon box but we're actually royalty man we have a history we're israelites we're hebrew israelites we come from abraham isaac and jacob but there was a you know prophecy that we would fall away from our lineage we would not know who we were 
We would not speak our own language. We would not have our own culture. We would just go into slavery and we would speak the languages of the, the, uh, the so-called white people that enslaved us. We would go by the names that the so-called white man gave us. We would listen to his curriculum in, our, in their schools. We would learn their histories, you know, and they would blot out our histories. So now the Lord and also a part of, the, you know, a part of prophecy is that we would wake up in the last days and we would know who we are. And we're in those we're in those days right now. So we know that the Lord is going to be coming soon. Right. Because it says, let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come the day of his coming until. OK, this is already passed where well, we fell away. But this right here is now being um, 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 this part of the prophecy is coming forth and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. The man of sin, the son of perdition is the so-called white race, man, Esau. He's the progenitor of the so-called white race, Edomites, and the Greek Idumians. So they're being um, called out now. Shameful spewing, you know what I'm saying, is, is on them real strong, man. And it goes on to say, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Who's doing that? Why when I Google God, I see a white guy? Why when I Google uh, who they call Jesus, all you see is them so-called white people? Why when I Google disciples, all you see is a so-called white man? Why when I Google Mary, it's always a so-called white woman? Because they whitewashed all the images. They really have placed themselves out here as being gods. And, of course, they want to be all-knowing. Motherfuckers got a camera on a pole every goddamn where watching you. They listening through the microphone right now on a damn phone that I'm, I'm speaking through camera looking at you you know what i'm saying esau just weird as hell he wants to know every damn thing he, he you know he, he wants to he really has a god complex right so she's sitting there she don't know that the lord is the one that set up judges she don't know and matter of fact she shouldn't even be there first off and and this is a part of esau's kingdom let's get that real quick first timothy 2 and 11 she shouldn't be there she should be at home um uh, uh baking some muffins or something let the woman learn in silence with all subjection but i suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man but to be in silence for adam was first formed then eve she's in there uh, usurping authority over this this attorney that's saying that he's she's been giving him hell for the past and he could be a, a, a israelite in white skin because israelites do look like that you know so because this is not a skin color thing we do explain that because it's not about skin color if you come from abraham isaac and jacob you are an israelite and if these scriptures resonate with your spirit then you are an israelite it don't make no difference what you look like because the israelites were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth like i said in the first scripture i just got there where that um the falling away Part of the falling away was us being scattered throughout nations. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, first off, we, we ran into, you know, West Coast of Africa, different parts of the continent of Africa. And then, of course, we were round up, you know, carried into captivity. And from that captivity, we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So now we look like all nations. But your seed line goes through the man. If you don't come from Abraham, Isaac or Jacob, then you are a damn heathen and you're going into slavery. Because this salvation is only for the Israelites, the elective Israel at, at that. So let's let's go to the next um, article that we got. And you can clearly see she's red as hell. She's not white. Esau came out red. The scripture says that Esau came out red. This lady doesn't look like a glass of milk. So why do they call themselves white? Because it's a social construct. It's to make them seem as if they're pure, they're righteous, you know, and, and the world can't move without them. But you can clearly see, look at the state of the world with them running things. This place is on, on the brink of uh, uh, being blown to smithereens, man, by these people. How long do you think the earth is really going to last with these people in power? That's why the Lord, he has to shorten the time. You know, the Lord, if the Lord don't shorten the time, nothing will survive here. Esau must this these people must be taken out of power as soon as man here you go this bitch is sitting up in and with a robe on like she's gonna give you justice but she's racist as hell don't they have the what the, the woman with the scale with the blindfold over her eyes the justice whatever that shit is called she giving people hell from her position and that's generally what um um 
you know, I, I'm not going to say uh, uh, just women in general, when they get that type of power, it's kind of crazy because uh, we've seen so-called black mayors, you know, the, you know, abusing their power, so-called black uh, uh, women, police uh, 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 officers, you know, their chiefs, these these, you know, their chiefs of stations and things of that nature. They, they abuse their powers. We've seen that over and over again. But not like how Esau is being found out and 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 the apostle was going off into uh psalm 73 and he was talking about how they're not covered by psalm 73 like that no more they're starting to be punished you know matter of fact let's get deuteronomy 30 and 7 i'll go to this next article salakia they're starting to be the, the curses are starting to reverse on them deuteronomy 30 and 7 and the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So they're starting to feel the grunt of what we've always felt. See? So when you go into Psalms 73, this is something that used to be, you know, uh, uh, and it, it, it's, still in, it's still in effect, but it's starting to phase on them. Psalm 73, let's start at verse 3. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. And the wicked is the so-called white man. When you go into um, Job 9 and 24, it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? See, he's running the earth. He's the one that tells you you need a passport to go somewhere. He's the one that tell you know, that's sanctioning everybody throughout the earth. He's the one that's telling you you need a driver's license to go here. You need a fishing license to go fishing. You need a hunting license to go hunt. You need a, a permit from us if you want to build an extra room on your house. You need this. You need that. You want to be an electrician? You got to come see us and get our education. You want to be a damn hairdresser, a beautician? You want to do nails? You want to do whatever? You got to come see us about that. Other than that, if we catch you doing it without our permission, we're going to arrest your ass. Or we're going to find you and do all these different things. They're the ones that's in, the, in space. They're the ones in the oceans. They're the ones that's making nuclear weapons. They're the ones that's making bullets, guns, uh, uh, shotguns, grenades, Black Hawk helicopters. You fucking name it. A tank. You name it. It's them. Every part of society is them. They got the FDA. They got the FBI. They got a CIA. They got all, you know, all these different things. They're the ones that's telling, you know, uh, uh, telling you what, what food is. Allowing these these motherfuckers to create all this this bullshit ass um, GMO fools it's them So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked So when we see this scripture, we know that this is talking about them for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked Why because they're constantly prospering with no one with, with, with no it seems as if they can do everything that they want to do and, and, and nothing is getting done to them like how it's being done to us But that's starting to reverse right? Because that camera work is on their ass. And see, when that camera work is so strong on you like that, it's really nothing they can really do because it's like, uh, well, had this just been something said, we might have been able to do something. But we actually see you. We actually hear you. This is actually you saying this. We know that this is you. Right? So they have to do something. And, and they're, you know, they're, 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 she's not going to get nothing that no one else would get. But, you know, of course, they're going to have to do something about it. You know, she might be able to go away for a year or two, you know, or whatever, go get some anger management or, you know, whatever the fuck they be doing. You know how they get down because they slippery like that. And she'll be right back somewhere else, you know, probably judging again. Verse four again, for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. In the NLT, it says they seem to live such painless lives. Their bodies are so healthy and strong. Why? Because they have the best, best of um, dental benefits. They got the best of the doctors and they they can actually really eat the best of the foods. They don't have to deal with the GMO shit. They can go and really go and, you know, uh, you know, all this shit is defiled, but they can really go and make some some better choices. They're not eating McDonald's or Wendy's or fucking Burger King on a day to day basis. They, they, at, at best, they stopping at um, um, a Starbucks and getting a croissant, a goddamn twenty dollar drink. You know, that that's, a, you know, that's how this is how they live in. They live in, you know, um, gated communities. They get pulled over for a ticket. You know what the fuck I am? I'm judge such and such. I can imagine her, man. Verse 6. Oh, no. Verse 5. In the NLT as well. They don't have troubles like other people. 
They're not plagued with problems like everyone else. See, but see, now that's starting to change. That's what the apostle was going into the other day. It's been about a week when I think he, he done that lesson. But they're starting to um, um, feel the grunt of these things now. It's no, no longer, they're no longer protected like that. Because the Lord is starting to lift that veil. And people are starting to see that they are the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. Verse 7. No, verse 6, it says, They wear their pride like a jeweled necklace and clothe themselves with cruelty. They, these fat cats have everything their heart could ever wish for. They scoff and speak only evil in their pride. They seek to crush others. See? Matter of fact, verse 8 right here. Now, let me get it in the KJV. Verse 7 as well. They, they, it says, their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. See? She was speaking wickedly concerning the oppressed of our people. She called us lazy pieces of shit. And guess what? Through. That recording caught her ass. But like I said, again, see, people, uh, you know, Esau, can, he can say whatever. She could have easily, had this not been recorded, she could have easily said, this, he's lying. I am an upstanding citizen. I am a judge. How dare you? All that bullshit. But you're on camera, baby. You, you, you microphone on you, baby. Motherfucker got that sports NFL microphone with the shield on it. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know. That nigga recording you from a, a, a block away. Anyway, let's go to the next article, though. Unless y'all want to see this again. I say we play it again. Shit. Let's get it. Morning. After more than 13 years on the bench, Oakland County Chief Probate Pro Tem Judge Kathleen Ryan is out of her courtroom. Chief Probate Judge Linda Hallmark removed... You see, there's another woman that's judging... They're not supposed to be in these positions, but this is Esau's kingdom. You know, this man is backwards as hell. These women shouldn't have authority over men, man. You know, she. can you imagine this lady? Uh, uh, not not this one right here or even her, too. But can you imagine her coming in there, um, on, 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 you know, cramping on her monthly, just having a bad ass day? And she's the one that's got to give you a judgment. Are you serious? Please, bro. Judge Ryan from her docket last week announcing that a complaint about internal allegations of unprofessional conduct was sent to the Judicial Tenure Commission. Judge Ryan was arrested in 2021 for domestic violence, but those charges... Domestic violence, but those charges was dropped, right? How, do, how Why were they dropped? Because of what we just read in Psalm 73. They're not in trouble as other men. But guess what? What was it? They said 2021. Here you go a couple of years later. That's just how quick things are starting to change because people are starting to see that Esau is the wicked man. And they're like, you know, hey, shit, you're going to get what everybody else get. And that's what the Lord is doing to them right now. They had all the power in the world to whip your ass, your back end. They had all the power in the world to come through your neighborhood and string your ass up into the tree like it was nothing. Now, here you go in this day and time, a, a so-called black man can, can own a gun and blow their asses away if they ever try to come on a, on a lawn and, and burn a damn cross or throw a damn cocktail through their window, you know, some rosewood shit. Jacob run your ass down now. But why has it, why has things changed like that? Because that shit, how about shit, y'all was shy. As a matter of fact, let me get another a scripture because the Lord set up kingdoms and he breaks those kingdoms down. Daniel 4. Start at verse 17. Let's just get verse 17 here. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the bases of men. So the Lord set these base people up because they are the bases of men. This man is literally out here like really legally. A man can just turn his fucking self into a woman. That lets you know right there that he's fucking wicked and he's not capable. He's a base man. He's not capable of running a kingdom. But the Lord set him up because the Lord is that powerful. So he's going to break his ass down. He's going to um, tear him down. He's not going to be in power anymore. And the very people that he's been oppressing, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. But he's passed five or six, seven, eight, nine, ten centuries He's going to break the asses down and he's going to set these people up over them. We're going to be over them. We're going to go from being the owned to owners. We're going to own their asses. 
And they don't see, they, they really can't fathom that. They can't fathom it because they, you know, they just, they have that, they still have that super duper pride on them. They don't see that this place is falling. They don't see that it's, it's already failed. It's just more things that's got to come for the, the really super duper crumble in front of their eyes. And it's not far off, man. The tensions with all this, this um, uh, uh, election bullshit, they already ready to civil war it out. And really, that civil war is just going to be overall so-called white people on so-called white people. And don't get me wrong, some niggas going to get it, too, because they're going to feel like they're Americans and got to get involved. But they're just going to just be knocking off anybody that's browner than you, that, that, that's got the shade of a, a paper bag, man. They're going to knock your ass off if you're in the way. If they see you, you ain't even got to be doing nothing because they're, they're, they're going to want to take off that hatred on you. Anyway, let's go to this next article real quick. So lock you. So here we go. Check this one out here. Oh, this guy, Daniel, let me see if they got, here you go, looking doofy as hell, right? Right? Disgraced Tennessee middle school teacher who filmed students in locker room whimpers in court after hearing victims' parents' testimony. And that's that, that, that spirit of Cain. My punishment is too much to bear, you know. They only gave his ass four years. He done all that and only got four years. Now, had that been a so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, um, so-called, uh, uh, you know, a uh, 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 man, and he's a Socrates, because he was, I think he's the, what's that? I think he's the, uh, uh, what's that? And these are eight, eighth grade students, so, you know, these are little, little, um, you know, little women that's developing, so, you know, that's probably, you know, and he, uh, he took a picture of one of the students' skirts. Fem no, not a picture, but he filming her shit. A disgraced Tennessee middle school teacher whimpered after being slapped with four-year prison sentence for placing a camera in a girl's locker room and filming up one student's skirt. You think a so-called black teacher would have got that type of uh, uh, leniency? I mean, so so like I said again, it's 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 leaning more towards their being judged. They still kind of in there, they still hanging on. But it's gradually moving to a point of them getting the same punishments that everybody else would get now, right? Christopher Scroll, 33, a former eighth grade science teacher. So he was a science teacher and a soccer coach. And I don't know why. Come on, bro. This is why uh, 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 that men and women shit should be separated. That's why the apostles don't allow, allow no women in, in, in GMS and, in, in the, um, you know, in the teachings, man. And when, when the brothers are doing lessons and and out on the highways and byways and no goddamn lawn chairs, man. Because it causes distractions. You think this man, he's seeing these young, and, and that goes off into, you got, um, um, who is this? You got a couple of camps, they upset with the, the grape doctrine as far as the Bible. But these young, these are young women. In the eighth grade, these young, these are young women. Some of these motherfuckers already got, you know, a, a motherfucking, a, 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 a 38 D cup. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? With hips and ass all, you know, because they're, 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 this is that time of development. I'm not sure how old you are in the eighth grade, but I think that's around, well, let me see. Uh, I think in the eighth grade, what are you, like maybe 13? I don't fucking know. 14, it's been so long. But anyway, this is the time when young women are starting to develop. And he, and, and, and don't think he doesn't know that. He's looking at them. He, they in them little soccer shorts. Have you seen the, the, the soccer outfits? This motherfuckers out here that's dealing with with, 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 with with little little girls way, way younger than that. They'll deal with a six-year-old, five-year-old, four-year-old. You think he's seeing these little fresh off the showroom floor? Because the, <laughs> these motherfuckers is brand new. Them, them brand new boxes there, pretty much overall. They in them little soccer shorts. You don't think this man seeing that shit on a day-to-day basis? Probably crushing on about two or three of them, you know? Telling them to come by class and and, and, and showing them um, um you know special treatment and shit. Come on, get the fuck. That, that this is why they, that this shouldn't be going on. And this is Esau Edom's kingdom. See see what I'm saying? See all in the name of it. Like what well, the kids have to go to school and they should be able to go to school and this should not be happening. Come on, bro. Men have damn hormones. When they see shit like that, ain't no telling. He probably got about thirty or forty girls around him all damn day long. He can't wait until he probably can't even concentrate on on, on, on this on being a damn science teacher because he can't wait to get to soccer practice. Anyway, it says um, 
he pleaded guilty to attempted aggravated unlawful photograph of a minor in a um, Bradley court. Okay, all right. But but check this out though. Let me see. Uh, what is uh? This nigga bought the he bought the Divine Eagle spy camera off, <laughs> off Amazon. They didn't say how it was found and placed it in the girls' locker room after claiming he received complaints about stu students being bullied and harassed. Hey, that's Esau. That's why the scripture says to never trust thy enemy. It says, uh, uh, though he though he humble himself and go crouching, uh, take good heed and beware of him. See, this is how he goes. He, this is his defense that there's bullying in the locker room. But but the uh, the the principals and everybody like, well, we ain't heard nothing about it. We ain't heard nothing about no um, bullying or nothing like that. But that's his lies, right? But this is the point that I wanted to get. Let me see if I can find it. Check this out. He was only able to do it for like two days. I guess somebody was like, you know, is that a fucking camera? <laughs> Look at him. Look at him with that doofy ass smile on his face. Now, it, it, this right here is your typical so-called white guy that, that you can trust. Everybody trusts this face right here, right? Everybody trusts this face. It says the police were for, forced to comb through around four million images on an SD card. Man, who the fuck have four million... God damn. He was really hey, hey, ain't no telling what else they you know found on there. I wanted to get to the point where let me see if something. Of course, you know they in court. He in there whimpering and shit, talking about how sorry he is. Look at him. Looking doofy as hell. Oh, right here. Sex offender counselor, doctor. Now he's a doctor. Michael Adler testified in Scrolls' defense during his trial that the disgraced educator should receive treatment and not jail time. You can't fucking make it up, man. That's why I was saying, let's go back to that Psalms really, really quick. Really, really quick. Psalm 73 again, right? They uh, Verse 5. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. You think of, man... Come on. Had this been a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American science teacher? Man, wouldn't have been no... The, 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 a sex offender counselor, Dr. Michael Adler. You think... they Man, they, that, they would have been like, no, I'm, I'm not... I'm, no, I'm not... I don't want anything to do with no case like that. That would uh, tarnish my career. But for Esau, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ain't no telling how much money he spent on that. Here you go, though. Still, parents argue that since his arrest, he's been seen around girls' soccer practice. <laughs> and that his presence in the community is unsettling. Oh, oh, you think? See? But this is Esau. He's he, he been getting down like this for a long time. Long, long time, bro. And he's just now starting to be found out. I mean, it's, it's not like people haven't been saying shit, but... And check this one out. This is the last one. Ohio man claims family was told to hire a translator for four-year-old to attend preschool because the child is the only student who doesn't speak Spanish. So here you go. You got the so-called white man. He's trying to go to uh, pretty much an overall Spanish community and, and, and bring his little so-called white fucking child in there. He only wants to speak English. See? And then he's complaining about it because he's fucking privileged. Why not, you know, why would you take your child there? And then and then you go into the comment board, oh, this is America, they should be fucking speaking English. And this is the way that they are. But they don't say that about um, so-called Chinese people, man, when so-called Chinese people speak in their language. East Indians speak in their language. Japanese speak in their language. It, it, you, they're, they're really pissed with you Israelites. This is who the world got the big problem with, man. You Israelites, they got a huge, huge problem with you. There's no other na nation. Of, I, look, I work. I'm at, I'm at the plantation right now. And it's a sprinkle of um, so-called Chinese people. There's a sprinkle of uh, East Indians. They're kind of pretty deep. They're like the, the, the heads in there. You know what I'm saying? As far as like the, the, the mathematicians, so to speak. They're the ones that's doing the engineering, so to speak. Because, you, know, they, they, you know, them motherfuckers uh, get down when it comes to them studies.
you know, because they're, you know, Esau, he'll hire them in a, in a minute to, to get down, you know, while he's taking the credit for everything because they're so goddamn stupid. Because, again, you, you, the scriptures just said that they're base people, they're base men. They, they front as if they're the smartest people on the planet. But actually, in reality, you look at the results of everything they into is stupid as fuck. But you got this sprinkle of these other nations that's in there and they just stand in groups. They sit in they, they own, you know, lunch tables and they do what they do and don't know. But they, it's like they're invisible in that motherfucker. But soon as a nigga walk through all eyes on a nigga. You not cheesing. Oh, is everything OK today? I, I, I notice you're not smiling and laughing well, okay motherfucker you not smiling and laughing are you okay you know you're just walking with your regular face you know what i'm saying you know it's not like i'm just in there mean mugging or grilling motherfuckers i'm just walking through you <laughs> like shit why the fuck and i don't even know you who are you it's your name tag oh okay what department i don't fucking know you know what i'm saying but they expect you to be a certain type of way and it's like it's all attention on you but when it comes to these other nations, I notice that they're just invisible. They speak to them. Hey, how you, you know that little shit as they're walking along. But I, I, what I noticed is, and the reason why I don't, you know, I don't, you know, I just kind of just go straight to what I got to do is because they go out of their fucking way to not speak. You know, I'm just in here playing, trying to get my Clark Kent on. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, um, I'm Superman in this motherfucker. I'm low key trying to get my Clark Kent on. Hey, how you doing? Motherfuckers that go all out of their way, man, and not speak to you. Didn't matter to me, hell, because I don't be wanting to speak anyway. <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm saying? Th this is the privilege of these so-called white people. Says my, my, my daughter enrolled my four-year-old grandson into a preschool last week, and they have a little meet and greet, he began. I live in a small town in Ohio. She takes him down to meet to the meet and greet where they tell her, she has to hire a translator with her own money in order to send him to preschool because he is the only student that doesn't speak Spanish. Really? He's surprised by that. So guess what would have happened had that been a so-called uh, Spanish kid and they went to a so-called white preschool and, and he was the only one that spoke. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody is speaking, you know, English, but he, he only speaks Spanish. What do you think they would have told the, the parents? You, know, you, need to get, you need to get him a tutor. You know, you do that shit at home, you know, and it wouldn't have been no problem. And the comment board would have been like, but what was they expecting? Why would they expect the all English, you know, that we speak English here? But when it comes to them, everything got to be changed. The rules got to be changed for them. So I'm going to end out there, man. I didn't want to keep it long. I just seen a, a few articles where Esau is losing it, man. That's pretty much overall what it is, man. He's losing it. And that shameful spewing is on his ass. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. We can end out there. Yep, Habakkuk 2 and 16. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also. Which means, hey, you, you, you reap what you sow, man. And let thy foreskin be uncovered. And that's nasty, man. You know, hey, when you, when, 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 you know... You feeling like someone's seeing your neck in this, man. You, you, you know, you get to trying to hide your, your private parts. You know what I'm saying? Or you, 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 you know, you curl your legs up. You know what I'm saying? To kind of, you know, you put your hands over your, you know. Hey, that's Esau right now. He's being revealed. And it's very embarrassing, man, to um be, be seen in your nakedness like that. It says, the cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee. And shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. So everything... That you were so, you bragged about, you were so, and you know, um, this is our culture, this is our um, heritage, you know, you're, you're ashamed of those goddamn generally confederate damn statues, you're, you're ashamed of, you know, every time somebody bring up slavery and the shit that you was doing to the, to the, to the people, you know, they, they're ashamed of all that shit, man. When I seen a, a brother, he had a short, let me see if I can find it, Salakia. Here we go right here, I found it. Against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. When you read what some of these slave owners did, it really does make your stomach heave. Here are three accounts of punishments meted out by Thistlewood in three months in 1756. Darby catched eating canes, had him well flogged and pickled, then made Hector shit in his mouth. 
rubbed Hazard with molasses and exposed him naked to the flies all day and to the mosquitoes all night. Flogged Punch well and then washed and rubbed in salt pickle, lime juice and bird pepper made Negro Joe piss in his eyes and mouth. Thistlewood kept a tally of what was known as of what was known as nutmegging, the rape of female slaves, something he did by his own reckoning on 3,852 occasions. He would allow his guests to do the same. When the okay, and there you have it, man. So here you go. Let's get this again. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Habakkuk 2 and 16, Salakia. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. So you Edomites, y'all got a lot to pay for. And see, you got these ones that's like, oh, well, I had nothing to do with that. That was so long ago. But at the same time, 1776, you motherfuckers still to this day celebrate 4th of July like it's nothing. And you dumbass so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that's out here, you know, you buy a new, uh, uh, Jake could go buy a new barbecue grill. They're going to get their hair cut. They're going to get hairdos. Bitches are going to get their nails done, eyelashes on, get their toes done, get a brand new outfit, get all the kids' outfits, and throw some pork ribs on the motherfucking grill, man, to their own demise. They'll celebrate their own downfall, bro, with these people, man. And it's really Stockholm Syndrome. I call it chronic Stockholm syndrome. You know? That's how this is how bad they've done us, man. They've done us so bad to the point where we are actually you know like on that well if you can't beat them join them. No, nah, man, you better get the fuck away from these people. The Lord is about to destroy these people for what they've done to the children of Israel. And the Lord requires the past. He ain't forgot about that shit. Are you crazy? They're going to reap what the fuck they've sown. They're gonna they're gonna reap what they sow, and like I said again, you'll have these people. You know, well, I had no slavery. I have no. There's no slaves here today, and there's no slave owners. We had nothing to do with it. Why should we have to? Reparations have to come out of our money. But you're not fussing about no your your fucking money going to Ukraine, or at least it wasn't. Some of them kind of complaining now because uh, you know their groceries not going down. These gas prices, these fucking rent, everything going up on these dumb asses, and that's a part of the fall of this kingdom. Isaiah 14 and 21 Prepare slaughter for his children For the iniquity of their fathers That they do not rise Nor possess the land Nor fill the face of the world with cities You're not going to be able to do what you've done no more The Lord is saying prepare slaughter for you, for you new generations Because you are your parents You are your ancestors You took full advantage of everything that they've done Now it's starting to cave and now all of a sudden you want everybody to group up with your ass and, and march in solidarity with you. Oh, we're all one people. The government, the government is doing this to us. The government, well, the government is your own people fucking you over. You Negroes, man, y'all better, I'm telling you, man, just leave these people alone, man. Stay away from them. You know, let them, let them get their own demise. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. You're going to be destroyed with this place. Our people are already fucked up. You're going to be completely destroyed with new thermonuclear fire. Right along with these people, man. Because the Lord is about to demolish America. This place is about to be up in smoke soon, man. And we can't fucking wait. And let me get, um, I just want to get like two more. So like, yeah. I'm just moving in the spirit, man. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh was not mocked for whatsoever a man sow, if that shall he also reap. So you so-called white people, if you sown a lot of murder, rape, robbing, and pillaging in the earth, so you're going to reap that. You're going to reap destruction because all you've caused is destruction. And let's get um Isaiah, no, Salakia, uh, Job 34 and 29 to prove that the Lord dealing with these nations. He's going to deal with you as a nation. Job 34 and 29 When he giveth quietness Who then can make trouble And when he hideth his face Who then can behold him Whether it be done against a nation Or against a man only 
So the Lord, he deals with nations and he deals with the individual people within those nations, man. So things are about to go down for y'all real cold, man. As a matter of fact, I'll just get one of them. Revelation 13 and, and 9. Let's start there. This is what this is what's to come to you, so-called white people. This is your future right here. If any man have an ear, let him hear. That means, hey, you got you got some understanding. <laughs> hey, hey, understand this. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. This is what we're patiently and faithfully waiting on. We don't have no power in our might to do anything. We're not going to do anything. You know, we're just waiting on the Lord. The Lord says to wait till he step up to the prey. The Lord is going to do this. This is not something that we can change. We can't go against the prophecies of the Lord. Because you got Jake that's out here, man. They really believe that, you know, eh, Esau shouldn't get no punishment. We should just forget about everything that they've ever done to us. But the Lord not going to forget. That's the thing. Try and convince the Lord about that. Let's see how that work out for you. You're just going to get destroyed right along with, with, with your oppressor. Scripture says to envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways, man. You out here celebrating this man's Jake out here buying goddamn Halloween outfits and shit right now. Slack on money. Bills got to be paid. But they still going to make sure that they get them kids some goddamn Halloween outfits. Stupid as hell, bro. Anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah and a Bible ball. Continue on praying for the downfall of this place, man. Shalom.